Welcome back. We've got a very cool versus for you today. It's two real-time strategy games. One of them is kind of an old-school uh, remake, and one of them is absolutely new school. Yeah, yeah. And they're going head-to-head, -head, and it's this is an interesting matchup that I've been looking forward to for a long time. We're talking about Tom Clancy's End War from Ubisoft going up against EALA's uh, Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. All right, let's talk about the graphics. How did you think the, uh, the visual stood up? Well, here? once I took a look at Command & Conquer on that sexy MacBook Pro that you've got, you know, the new <laughs> yeah, one? Yeah, the shiny, it's, yeah. Well, high-res graphics. I know. Dude, the water? <laughs> Like, I want to go swimming in the game. I just want to dive into the... I almost dove into a screen and he had to pull me back. Yeah, I know. The difference here, I think, the distinction between the two games, I think End War is going for a little bit more of a realistic kind of vibe, a yeah. little bit more Ghost Recon. I think Command & Conquer is a little more... Car uh, not cartoony, it's but comic brighter. Book, man. It looks like a comic book from a, you know, a, have that a higher art vantage. style going for Big it. time. What they've done with the, the kind of overall Great. gloss of uh, Red Alert 3 is they've integrated a lot of, you know, pop-up video kind of yeah. sequences. With some, like, heavy-duty, hardcore acting. They got some great actors. But you know, it's cheese all the way through. I mean, you know, you know, expecting like a real, yeah, it's yeah like, like they're it. not going to be like, let's play this serious. It's like you got Tim Curry in there with his crazy accent. Yeah. And it's just like, yes. That comes and goes. Yeah. Whereas in End War, I think they kind of wanted to make it look kind of gritty and There's realistic. A, you got Viggo Mortensen looking yeah, character. Yeah, they, they got, oh, It looks like kind of like, you know, they serious, took, they each though. took from like, you got Lost cast member. It looks like the guy Echo. Yeah. You know, as your Nigerian host. Yeah, there's definitely the artistic kind of uh, slant there is to pull from familiar imagery in yeah. terms of the characterizations. This one is definitely moodier. Yeah. It's, it's a lot grittier, and, a lot dirtier, because, grimier, and, if you will. And because it's not really kind of moving a cursor around the uh, the battlefield and, and, and playing a tactical game the way that we traditionally play yeah. a tactical game, this is all about shooting your camera to like over the shoulder Which perspective. Which is cool, because you can do voice, like camera, unit two, camera. And it's, they just, it's unbelievable. Personally, I think it's kind of a tough one to call because I love the aesthetics in End War, yeah. but I also loved the complete cartoony campy direction that they went with Red Alert 3. Yeah. And it's hard for me to say which one I like better because I, they both work perfectly for their different kinds of games. Yeah, they, I mean, they both work. Personally, I'm a fan of the water. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> there you go. I'm, I'm giving them a tie. What about in the audio department? How do you think they stood up? Well, it all depends on your style of audio. Yeah. If you like just toned down melodramatic war themes, you're going to go with it more. If you like the rock music. and roll. The music and see it. She is crazy, man. <laughs> It is like a metal, it's, it's like, like a heavy metal yeah. concert going it's on right epic. there. It's like, it's, I'm trying to play End War and I got him in the background playing Command & Conquer and I'm just like... <laughs> End War doesn't have bad audio, it just has exactly the kind of audio the that thing, you see. If you like Ghost Recon, if you like Splinter Cell, if you like the uh, Rainbow Six games, you know what you're in for. But the thing it's is, just bigger. The thing is about End War is you don't really hear the music, you just hear the guy playing the game. Yeah, you do. Unit one, attack unit yeah. two. And you hear your, if, uh, this is the, the game where you move out from your roommate playing the game, yeah. or you force your roommate oh, to move out while he listens drunk. to you. No, when your roommate's isn't. asleep. No, it isn't. Unit one, attack hostile two. Yeah, because you, <laughs> all right, so, so who are you giving it to there? Commander Khan. Me too, yeah. Okay, now what about in the gameplay department? We're talking about traditional real-time strategy uh, tactics and tech trees and uh, unit building, un unconventional Rough. animations. And, uh, you know, kind of a cartoony, accessible vibe in Red Alert 3 yeah. going up against End War, which is also very accessible, but it's a, it's a different discipline to learn yeah. with the voice commands. But it's like, it seems, because, like, you don't have to necessarily guide your troops to destroy everyone. You tell them to go fight the first group of hostiles, yeah. and they'll kill them, and they'll go on to the next guy. So, like, I was just like, Unit 1, attack Hostile 1. Yeah. Unit 2, attack Hostile 1. Unit 3, attack Hostile 1. And then I just go watch Vic play Command & Conquer. I'm like, yeah, I'm but like if you guys need me, call me. In the headpiece. <laughs> we cannot do that, sir. <laughs> yes, you can. CNC Red Alert 3, we're doing the same thing, although in a dressed-up fashion that we've done since the series yeah. launched almost 20 years ago. You know? I mean, that's, and it's really that's what hasn't Command & Conquer that is. It's tough for me to call this one, though. I had, I had a really good time for different reasons in both games. Well, you just games. gotta pick up your phone and dial, man. Pick no, up your phone and tough dial. For to tough for me to call. I like them both a lot. I, I'm, uh, I think I... I'd probably give them a tie. They'll get on our What about you? You're going to say I'm Command & Conquer? Conquer. Conquer? All right. Okay, what are you going to give Command & Conquer? Red Alert 3? Command & Conquer, 8.5. 8.5 for me as well. What are you going to give uh, End War? 8. 8.5 for me. So there you go. There's two very good RTS games available for you right now. Very yeah. different approaches for these games. So maybe if you're a big RTS fan, you might want to have both if, of them. If you have a speech impediment, you're definitely going to want to play Command & Conquer. <laughs> there you go. Today on the show, Jose and I took a look at Little Big Planet. Stunning creative choices and the freedom to add new content to the experience every time you boot up the game. Some of the jumps are challenging, but it's so hard to quibble. This is one of the best, guys. Get it.
Golden Axe Beast Rider. There's some good design work in the game, the beast riding is great, and the combat is pretty solid, but there's no cooperative play, and you have technical issues to contend with. There are just much better hack and slashers to grab out there. SimCity Creator. The original SimCity game was great. Get that. In Versus, we took a look at Tom Clancy's End War, which features very cool voice command controls, incredible camera angles, and super dynamic gameplay. But be prepared to learn some new disciplines to play, and also to piss off your roommates with all your yelling. We looked at that one against Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. The campy style, ridiculous cutscenes, and fast-paced gameplay make Red Alert 3 a total treat to play, but it is traditional and familiar RTS territory. The Rogers Video Game of the Week is Little Big Planet. No surprise there. Thank you.